That's the ocean, and a freshwater environment, that's the river. And I've got a great story about a salmon. Do you want to hear it? Well, right behind you is a tree we call the hazel. You see it? A lovely tree. And there's a hazel over here. And there's a hazel over there. So we are in a place we're surrounded by hazel. And guess what that staff of mine is? Made of? Hazel. And do you know the hazel is the uh, tree of wisdom? And particularly the nuts, the hazel nuts that grow on the hazel bush carry knowledge. And this story is about what happens. Salmon is involved as well. Okay, so here has, here's how it go. There was another druid like myself. I'm Cathbad. But there was a druid called Fenton. And he was training a young fellow like this here. This Finn, Finn, when he was a boy. Finn, of course, grew into be a giant. As you know, the stories about Finn McCool and his fight against all the Scottish giants. Right? Up in the giant's causeway. You've heard of that, haven't you? Well, he, Finn was a boy too as well. And he had a druid who taught him everything he needed to know. And the druid's name was Fenton. And Fenton was a good druid, but he didn't think he was the best druid there was. Because he wanted more knowledge. And one night he was dreaming about it. He had this amazing dream. He saw a well. And around the well were nine hazel bushes. Nine hazel bushes. And the well had salmon like that in it, swimming around in it. And he saw the hazelnuts drop in the dream. He saw the hazelnuts dropping in and the, sw and the salmon were swallowing them. So, he saw by that dream that the salmon was getting the knowledge from the hazelnuts because the tree, the hazel tree, is the tree of knowledge. And he says, I must get that knowledge. And he woke up and he says, Finn, get your stuff together and we're on, our, we're on a journey. We're looking for a pool. A well with nine hazel bushes round it. So keep your eyes open and watch out for it. So they went on a long journey searching for the pool known as the Pool of Sagash. And you know where they found it? They found it along, not the River Fahan, but they found it along the River Boyne. He came to it and he was a happy man for he saw, he saw the salmon swimming in the pool, in the Pool of Sagash. And he said, now is my chance to have full knowledge. So he said, right Finn, give us a hand. Get this spit up. And he stuck, come on, you help me. Stick it in the ground. Right, and there we go. And stick the other one, up. that's it. Right, okay. And he says, go around. You can imagine your, your Finn too. And he sets up another one over here. Right, sticks it in the ground. Sticks that in. Okay. And now, what does he do? Where's that other stick? Go over and get that other stick. And he puts it across, like that there. And what do we call that? We call that a spit. And underneath, he's, Finn, go and get all the wee sticks and all you can and pile up, make a wee fire in there. Make a little fire in there. Okay. And of course, Finn went and did that. Meanwhile, Fenton went and he went to a pine tree. And he, he burst a little bubble in the pine tree and inside was resin. And he scraped the resin onto his hand and he covered his hand with that sticky resin. Then he went down to the river and he got dry sand and he rubbed it across the, re, uh, the, re, uh, across the resin. And he had sand all stuck on his hand. And you might be asking in your head, why was he doing such a thing? Well, I'll tell you, this is what he did. He didn't have a line and he didn't have a fishing rod and he didn't have the line to catch the salmon because that's what he wanted to do, to catch the salmon. How was he going to do it? Sand on resin on hand. So he went over to the pool of Sakash and he reached down and the salmon came round, swimming round and as it passed under his hat, he grabbed it. And he had a big battle fighting as the salmon, big strong salmon it was, tried to, to get away. And you would think it should have slipped out of the hand 
of Fenton because it would happen to you if you just grabbed any fish at all. It would slip away because they're very slippery. But he held on to it until the salmon stopped struggling. Until it died. And then what did he do? He went to the stick, here the stick, and he pushed it through the mouth of the salmon, right down in through the salmon's body and out the other side. And then he laid it on top of the spit like this. And he said to Finn, I need this turned, so you keep turning the rod and the fish will turn with it. And so the salmon turned as Finn twisted it. And he said, now, Finn, I'm going off to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the toilet. I want you to stand there and to keep turning that spit. Hey, Finn, I don't want you to burn that salmon. Because if you burn that salmon, the knowledge will go out through the burn. Promise me you will look after it very carefully because I'll be away about ten minutes. And so Finn was busy turning the salmon. He did a good job. He kept turning and look, he did his, what he was told. But then all of a sudden, wasn't a buzzard like early this morning we heard the buzzard. It was a hawk circling above through the clearing. Up through the clearing. And Finn loved the hawk. And Finn looked up. Finn looked up. And he looked up at the hawk. And he kept looking at the hawk. And guess what he stopped doing? He stopped turning the fish. And what happened then? He was just took his eye off it for about two seconds when he suddenly realized what he had done. When he looked back at the salmon and he turned it around, there was a big blister on the skin of the salmon. Oh, I'm in trouble. What am I going to do? Fenton is going to kill me. What will I do? And like little boys always do, they'll think of a way of getting rid of the evidence. So he said, if I burst this bubble, this blister, it'll be okay. He'll never notice. So he took his nail, a bit off, a wee bit of the edge of it, to make it nice and sharp. He went down and he poked the blister and it burst open and the blister flattened down. But, 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 what was inside the blister? Very hot oil. As you cook something, there's the oil that is in the fish, gets very hot. Well, you should have seen him. You should have seen him. Fenton, or Finn, this was what you did. You went, oh, oh, I'm burned. Oh, my finger, oh, my finger. Oh, what will I do? I must kill this pain. What did he do? What did he do? He went, he could have. That's a good answer. He could have gone down to the pool. Oh, 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 thank God. Kill the pain. Yes, he could have done that. But he didn't. What did you think? What else could he have done? What else? What would you do if you got a, a burn, a pain in your hand? What way might you do? That's it, that's it, exactly. And that's what he did. He pricked the finger into the mouth and sucked. And guess what he put into his stomach as well? The juice from the salmon. And suddenly, he stood up, and what had he got? <coughs> he had got, that's exactly what he got. He got the knowledge from the salmon. The salmon of knowledge had now given him the knowledge that Fenton, here he comes running, look, he's coming running. And he knows there's trouble. He knows there's a problem because he sees Fenton standing up like this. He has changed. He can see almost that, so, he sees change and thinking, I know so many things. And Fenton knew. Fenton knew that something like that had happened. He rushed down and he said, What did you do, Fenton? What did you do? Oh, well, 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 uh, Fenton, uh, uh, I did this and I did that. And, uh, and uh, I put, it, uh, put the finger into my mouth. And he knew that Finn had got all knowledge. Not Fenton, not me, the, the druid who wanted it so much. But you... You got it, Finn. And you grew up to become a great giant. Yes, people tell you about, about the stories about the giant, fighting the Scottish giants. 
But they never tell you the story or the fact that he became a shaman, a shaman, a wise man. He became a shaman, a big druid <coughs> that was full of knowledge. And that's how Finn became so knowledgeable, by eating from the salmon of knowledge. And that's how it happened. And that's the story. <laughs>